All right. So I got my pots and pans. I got some Legos for the kids. I got some spiky leather belts for the teenage kids. I got some pills for me. What am I forgetting? I need uh, one more thing on my list. What was it? Oh, that's right. I was supposed to sign up for the army. How could I forget? <laughs> what is up, guys? Binky49 here. We are back on the desolation map, and the mall is under renovation. We are making some good progress. When I left off, we were working on the FBC. <laughs> what is it called? I almost forgot. Full body crank. <laughs> if you guys remember, this was the vitamin store. And we were working on the facade. Solid was working on the inside. Let's take some juice so you can see what's going on in there. Oh, look at this. Doesn't this look just amazing? Doesn't look epic. The stores are, the shelves are stocked. <laughs> full of stuff. Full of vitamins and minerals and things filled with things you don't want to put in your body necessarily. <laughs> so he did a great job in here. I think we can add a few more things. I wouldn't call this finished. I wouldn't call any of these businesses finished. We have a lot of fine tuning to do. And not just putting stuff in chests, but as well as details and aesthetic details. This ceiling I feel is not done. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do in here still. We got some space here for some sort of anything really. The sky's the limit. So this employee back room I feel like needs a little bit of work, but it's almost there. Almost there. So the full body crank is nearly done. Very good job on the interior there, solid. Exterior didn't come out exactly the way I liked it, but it's pretty cool, pretty cool, FBC. Solid came up with that cool acronym. Well, the idea to do the acronym, at least. <laughs> uh, what else we got? The army, let's get rid of this. We don't need this anymore for the time being. Oops. The army recruitment center. So, you know, you're just shopping along and buying clothes and whatnot, and you're like, wait a second, let's see what the army's got to say. <laughs> so you go into the army, and first thing you notice is the swag, the stuff that they're luring you in with. They got uh, sweaters and t-shirts and jackets and cups and mugs and pencils and all sorts of things that say army on it that they just hand out to any unsuspecting 17-year-old. Free! Ooh. Uh, and then they take you to this back room and they... I don't know what goes on back here. I've never been into an army recruitment center. I have no experience with the army. So I don't want to say anything out of line. But this is where they convince you to give up your life. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to give you... We're going to pay for your school. We're going to pay for your your career. Yada, yada, yada. You just have to go give up your life, basically. Um yeah, nothing against the army if that's what you're into, but, you know, you're so much more valuable than um, meat fodder, you know what I mean? Your mind is an amazing thing. Do not waste it on the army, please, guys. Do not. You are a smart, talented individual. You do not need to be cannon fodder, okay? <laughs> Don't ever go to that place. That place is Fitz Covington. This is the sort of place you'd find in the Covington, in the mall, in the middle. So... Yeah, Army Recruitment Center. Huh. The Watch Shop! <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is all me so far. I haven't had Solid come in and add his stuff yet, so waiting on that. But I think I've got a pretty good grip on it. You come in here, and this is a place where they not only buy, or not only sell watches, but they also buy and trade watches. They also repair watches. So anything watch-related, you're going to come in here. we got a display case for the lower... Lower class, <laughs> the cheaper watches, uh, they're in the display. We got the middle watches here and the special um, rack here. There'll be, um, there'll be a wall behind that so you won't see the light coming through. So these are the nicer, the, uh, the, middle, the middle scale, you know. Uh, that needs to be glass. And these stores were all unapocalyzed, all unlooted. So they're all just as the day they were left, just untouched. So we got watches in here. You're going to find a lot of clocks in this place. We've got the counter. And this is where you talk to the guy. This is where you see some of the higher-end watches. The Rolexes. And that's the only brand I know. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some research for the naming of stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about watches. Uh, the only watch I have is on my cell phone. Seriously. Watches. Goodness. Uh, watch repairs. We buy, sell, and trade, as I said. 
So yeah, this is a little little shop for so where you can assess the watches, look at the watches. I did a lot of research. Like I said, I don't go into watch shops, but I did a lot of research on what it just what it takes to 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 fix a watch. And this is what I came up with. Basically, all the pictures I saw were just desks, any desk you'd see in a on a in a person's office, you know. And it just had little tools, you know, tiny little tools and a desk. So I tried to find the smallest blocks I could in this game. Um, those are watch tools and watch pieces and just clutter. Watch clutter, basically. So the guy's coming back here and sitting at his desk. I haven't put a seat back here. I should, be, should probably do something like that. Work in progress, guys. Nothing in, nothing in this map is truly finished. We're always going back and adding and changing and subtracting and multiplying and dividing and solving for X, usually. <laughs> So that's the watch shop. A lot of clocks in here. Clocks... My friend Whiskrim pointed out that clocks actually have some use, and he was using them in the game the other day. He may be the first person to use a clock in Desolation. <laughs> so this is what I'm working on now. Can you, get, can you see what that says? This is work in progress, guys. I don't know if this is the final thing, but what does that say? Yes, that says bold wavy. <laughs> This is a clothing store. You can find performance fleece at Bold Wavy. I don't know what it, you'll find in your pants, shirts. We'll be doing that. Um, another thing I wanted to show you was Chaos Manager has been back. He's been in. And he's put a little more work into the redstone. Um, you know, if we were ready for him, he'd have this all done in like a few hours. But unfortunately, I'm not ready for him. So he can only work on a little bit at a time. But he's doing a great job. Let's take a look down here. Let's take a gander at what he's done. So what do we got here? It looks like a mess, but he's got pictures and all sorts of things. This is the all power. When it's on, the power will also be on. So the power's on right now. This is what it looks like with the off power. He's only connected this circle, and he's put it on a timer. Look at this timer go. Isn't this cool, guys? This prevents lag. It's also really cool. But it's, you know, the lighting changes and the, the game has to calculate all those. So if you have them over time, you don't get that huge lag spike. Let's turn them on and see how that works when turning on. I think that's a really cool feature that's not only functional, but it's really pretty, um, pretty cool, if you ask me. Yeah. Look at the lights go. I love it. Uh, so we're going to connect the lights shooting off in that direction and that all the four directions. Isn't that cool? It reminds me of the game Simon. I may be showing my age, but Simon's like, it had the colors, and hey, never mind. You know what Simon is. <laughs> so Chaos Manager, good job. Let's just take a quick peek at how he hooked all these lights up. A lot of repeaters. Don't try to do this in survival mode, guys. <laughs> it's not worth the resources. But in creative, yes. So every so often he puts... One, two, three, four, five repeaters on full, or full delay, whatever you call that. I don't know. And then, yeah, we did a quarter turn, and then another five repeaters. Then a quarter turn, and another five repeaters. It is so good to have someone knowledgeable in Redstone helping you out. I mean, I could do that. I could do this exact same thing he did, but it would take me, like, 50 times longer. It really would. Um, maybe not so much the lights, but everything else he did, wow. He did a great job. I'd have to do a ton of research and watch videos. That would be terrible. This guy just did it off the top of his head. Thank you, Chaos Manager. Great job. I appreciate your help. I really do. So let me check the time here. Yeah, we don't have much time for building. This is more of a catch-up episode. Uh, I wish I could build for you guys, but... You know, when I start building, I get in the zone. I don't want to be talking about what I'm doing. I just want to build, 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 build. And uh, so that's what happens here. I'll build for you this week. I swear. I promise. There'll be some building. We'll probably get some more mall stuff done. A lot of PvP coming. I have a great new game. Oh, before I go, I want to talk to you guys about your suggestions, your comments, and all that. A lot of people said Foot Locker. A lot of people. So we'll definitely be putting a Foot Locker into this mall. I do, okay, so down here, these are the plots we have, and this could be a footlocker, long and narrow, but I don't feel it, it doesn't feel like a footlocker, I think a footlocker should be long and wide, 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Foot Locker upstairs, the second floor, and I'm going to change the layout of the floors a little bit. I'm going to put a Victoria's Secret up there, um, two bigger shops, the Foot Locker and the Victoria's Secret. That'll be upstairs in the second floor. So thank you for that suggestion. Another thing people said was GameStop. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm definitely going to put a GameStop in. I don't know if I'm going to call it GameStop. Basically, I want to clown on that business as much as possible. Just show how bad of a business they truly are. That is one of the worst stories. If you're buying your video games from GameStop, stop. Just stop. They are pillaging. <laughs> they are, uh, they're using the R word to take your money. No, do not buy games at GameStop, guys. There's the internet for that now, okay? We have Amazon. I have a, a store in my neighborhood called Fry's Electronics, and they beat the heck out of GameStop every time on prices, on availability, on uh, customer satisfaction. So find an alternative to GameStop. I will put one in here, and I'm going to clown on these guys. The signs are going to be ridiculous. Uh, the last thing you guys were talking about was the food stuff. There's going to be a food court on the second floor in the middle here. This whole circle, second floor, will be food court. A lot of ideas were coming for that. Cafes. I want to do a Panda Express, maybe. Uh, Sparrow. Do they still have Sparrows? I don't know. I love me some pizza, though. Going to have to have some sort of pizza represented here. Um, so the food court is going to come later, guys. Much later. Food Locker is going to come later. I really appreciate your suggestions. Keep them coming. I love all those suggestions. We're going to use a lot of them. I love the GameStop. I love the Foot Locker. So definitely going to have those. And anything else you can think of. I mean, look what we're doing here. We're doing Army um, Army Recruitment. We're doing Watch. The sky is the limit. Whatever you guys can think of. Do not be pigeonholed by like the shops that are in your mall. So... That's all I got to say about that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your comments and your crazy support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for coming into the game and playing PvP and not getting in our way while we're building. You've been very wonderful, all of you. Um, so thank you all. Happy Minecrafting. Have a great day. Peace.